Hi everyone, today I'm doing a video on John Rovato's vintage cologne. I'm going to be comparing it from a purchase I did at Fragrance X to an authorized retailer. This is the John Rovato's vintage that I bought uh, online. But the reason I'm doing this video is because when I first smelled John Rovato's, there was something about the scent that I got online that was different and I wanted to find out today. So I purchased another one from the store and I'm gonna open it right here right now. So there we go. Right off the top, um, I do feel the difference. Um, this feels smooth. Um, um, you can actually tell the lettering. So this is the one from the store. And the lettering is actually smaller than on this particular one. The leather, or what appears to be leather, is rough. Um, and this feels cheap, it almost feels like it wasn't fully um, fastened. This one feels very smooth. Uh, again, these are just my uh, sort of opinions on it, um, sort of review. So I have slightly larger scales than this one. I'm going to spray one of them on one of my hands. On my left hand is going to be the on online purchase. On the other hand is going to be the local authorized retailer purchase. sprays on each. There we go. I'm back. It's been about 15-20 minutes since I first put them on. Uh, honestly, I can't tell a big difference between the two. If, uh, if the Fragrance X1 um, is different, it's marginally different. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna uh, I've also tested them out on paper um, and uh, it seems, I'm using coffee beans just between to clear the palette just to make sure there's barely any difference. My suspicion is different stocks um, or different batches of, uh, of the fragrance. Now I can't explain why the size and the labeling is slightly different. Um, again, maybe that if you have any recommendations, comments, uh, thoughts, uh, leave them down below. Um, yeah, more videos coming soon.